Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? The ploughing continues. Now this field here is all over the place. Um, so the next thing that I need to do is to get this guy uh, just sort of filling in these sections that he's missed. And then we can go around and kind of tidy up the edges. Once that's done, we can then start cultivating it. Um, we, we do need to kind of get a move on because, hang on, I need to find the right button. Let me put the map back up. Um, and I also have once again got the wrong settings here. We want kilometers and we want euros. I realize that it is Poland, so they don't actually have euros. However, euros is what we've got available. Um, left Alt and F for the forecast, left Alt S for the menu. So we're here, we're right down here, and we've got planting that we can do for wheat, barley, canola. Um, these others aren't going to be ready. We've got potatoes and sugar beet as well. Uh, grass we can start cutting soon, but not yet. So we're going to have to just settle with the bales that we got to keep the cows going. We need the ground to get up to 5 degrees in order to be able to start planting wheat, barley and canola. So we're going to plant wheat and canola, I think, to start with. We'll, we'll sort of do the two do two crops. Um, we won't do more than that for now. So that we can get the stuff in the ground. But we're going to probably have to wait a few days in order to be able to do that. Looking at the forecast, Wednesday is raining, Friday is raining, um, and also if you look there it says 7053104, I didn't know what those numbers were, apparently it's the daytime and nighttime temperatures or estimated temperatures that are coming up, so the ground temperature is probably not going to warm up any time in the near future, the zeta here is given up for a minute, um, the forward is actually doing okay if I just stop the hired help working on there a second we'll move over to this section this field is nearly done we're nearly ready to start we do have a few extra bits and pieces here and people have said they very often they get fed up with this field and so they just um, turn it into grass and we probably will end up doing that but not just yet what I was gonna do first was I was going to plant it with crops just once um, so that we can um, combine it and everything I thought that could be quite good fun and then um, we'll probably put it into grass afterwards and we'll get a bigger field to work on for, um, for crops and stuff like that. Now, um, cows, that's going to be the, the next thing, is our cows, the food level, the grass is obviously zero, we're about halfway on food. We're going to need to put some more food in for them very soon. Straw is fine. Now, people said that they did have trouble putting straw in, but I didn't have any issues with that. So hopefully we kind of that's sorted and we, we don't need any worries um some people have said that they have trouble with pigs uh, bedding and the sheep pallets now i'm not intending to start sheep on here anytime soon but i would like to do some pigs because we haven't done pigs for quite a while so i'll probably do that um and we got silage hay and power food i did have a question that i asked you all for this week and i'm aware that i don't actually have all the information ready for it I have completely forgotten about it. Um, unfortunately, that is my bad. I will tell you what it is next time I see you. As far as I can remember from early impressions I got, is that both the helpers have just finished their... Um, hang on. I, I've got a feeling that both helpers just finished at the same time. They're both saying that they finished. Right, so let's just go over to the aggro star. Yeah, he's done this bit. So we'll start this one over on that little se section over there. Um, and he'll plow that bit out. Actually, he should work okay on that. He shouldn't have any issues with it. So if we come over to this side, um, get over as tight as we can. Remember, we do have the multi-angle terrain. Now, some people have pointed out that this is not very good. Um, it, you've got to spend a little while lining it up. But I think for a small field, it's actually going to prove most useful. Where are you going? Okay, he's trying to turn around already. He doesn't like it right there. It's because he's too close to the edge of the field. So if I manually drive him on a little bit further, just get him on a little bit more up here. He should now be okay if I, you know, you've got to line it up right. And um, that's the thing with the multi-angle terrain. You do have to get it lined up right. That should be all right there. So that's that one. Um, let's quickly go through to the Ford or the New Holland over here. He has just given up. Um... Come over here. We'll try this one again. I'm hoping that he will just plow this little section here. And then we can tidy up the field afterwards. Um, let me stop you right there. 
go on a little bit more. I know it's not a great, it's not a, a very big section that he's got to do there. Let's start the hired help. That can go. And now we can go back to the Zeta. We're going to have to get that one going in a minute. We will do that in a minute. So, yeah, I'll give you the results to the question um, next time. It was about the which fields should I buy. And if I remember correctly, early indications show that we'll be buying fields in the middle of the map. Now, not buying fields today, but it did look like we'll go for the fields in the middle of the map rather than the big ones on the edge. Um, and... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite pleased about that. I think that is a good thing. Um, what we don't have is a tractor available. So I'm going to get a bale of silage. Now remember, the bales of silage are the expensive ones. So we want to use less of these. So we use one bale of silage, one bale of straw, two bales of hay um, to go into here. And let's do it like this. I did say that I thought, you know, that the bale thing was really good because um, it's you can't um, like buy stuff cheap and sell it for really expensive because the bales of um, hay are um, really cheap. There's a way around this. What you could actually do is buy some bales of hay and wrap them as silage and then sell the resulting bales of silage for a small fortune. So you can kind of cheat money in. Um, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm definitely not going to cheat. But what I am going to do if we need to buy some more bales is I will buy all bales of hay, we'll buy straw if we need it because straw is cheap to buy, but we'll buy bales of hay and we'll wrap them into bales of silage if that's what we need to do. I do think though with this game, I think that there's like an add-on with the silage um, that means that you've got to wait a little while before the silage is actually ready to use. Um, if that's the case, that is actually really, really cool. You, you don't have instant silage from the bales, so I'm not certain about that. Let's... let's um, Right, helper E needs some help. We'll go to helper E in just a minute. I want to get a bale of hay here. I actually need two bales of hay, so we get that one down there and we get the one up there as well, if I can. Can I get it? Just, just catch it on the very tip of the fork. We can drop that in, and then we've got a load that is ready. We can chuck that in as soon as there is a tractor available. Um, he can... Uh, drive around and dump that into the cows and that will keep them going for a few more days the problem with doing this on 12 days and people have said I should take the executive decision to shorten the number of days that we use rather than keeping it on 12 I'm gonna keep it on 12 now and I do agree because I didn't know and you know, everybody voting we weren't we were unsure about how the seasons mod worked so to be fair um, I shouldn't have asked that question uh, but we said 12 days, so I will stick with 12 days for now, and we'll see what we can do. Now, I think it's this one. Oh, no, he's doing okay, so it'll be the Ford, the New Holland. Yes, he's just gotten stuck up against that one. And for some reason, they don't seem to like that one. Um, there's a few little bits there. i tell you what, we'll park this one up a minute. Actually, no, I won't. I'll just move him over here and plow a little slice right there and we'll go and get the zeta now the problem with the zeta it does appear that this one it puts it too low into the ground um so it doesn't work very well now we already know that it doesn't work very well um we did have some issues with this one we could do with a bigger tractor to run it either that or just wait for black sheep modding to run an update for the cultivator so that it's um more of a suitable size but before we actually get that, we can, obviously we can't just stop doing our cultivating until we have um, machinery of a suitable size or um, a bigger tractor or wait for them to do an update. We can't do any of those things. So what we're going to do is we're going to park this one in a shed. I'll leap off and there's a shed. Is there anything in there? Nope, there's nothing in there at all. Uh, okay, we'll just park it. That is a separate shed all on its lonesome. I don't really want to put it in there. I don't know why, I just don't like the idea of putting it in there. Let's drop it in this one. Let's come round and we'll back this cultivator in this shed here. We'll put it in there and we'll leave it there until such time as we have a vehicle that can use it. I've been told that 250 horsepower tractors struggle to use this cultivator at the moment. So obviously there is an issue with it. It's Apparently it's set just a little bit too low into the ground and that's why it doesn't work properly. Um, so we're going to rush off to the dealership with this tractor. We're going to get ourselves a different cultivator. I have a couple now that I've enabled from... It's just from the Mod Hub. There's some other small ones available. Um, we'll get one of those onto this tractor so that we can start doing some cultivating. We have got some other um, 
cultivators as well, some slightly bigger ones that we can put on the other two tractors and we can get going with those as well. All right, we're going to try this little uh, cockling cultivator, which I think is actually just a reskin of the one that's already in the game. Um, I can't remember what that was called. Hang on. I was looking at it just now and I can't remember what it's called. It's the uh, reskin of the coon. It's very similar to that one anyway. Um, and you've got a horse one there. See, that one's only 120. This one's 160. That one only needs 90 horsepower. We've got one of those back at the farm. Um, this particular tractor is... How many horses is this tractor? Um, you know, I can't remember now. This Zeta is... Well, it's a 120 horsepower tractor anyway. So, in theory, it should be able to cope with several of those smaller cultivators. I don't have any cultivators at the moment that are for, uh, for really small tractors. Um, that's something that I will have a look at. I did say before that I would have a look at doing that, but um, I haven't gotten around to it yet. It is something that we're going to get onto at some point soon. Uh, we'll also probably buy a few of these fields here, I think. And we can... Well, they're already cultivated. I know that we're not going to get the bonus for ploughing. Um, but we could just crack straight on and uh, use them. They're, they're ready for sowing. Um, anyway, I will get this one set up in the field so that it can start sowing. We've got ploughing to finish and the cultivating to get started with all the tractors so that we can then jump forward in time, I hope, and get started on the sewing. That's much better. It's actually working as intended. Even if we've got to have a fleet of small tractors towing these types of cultivators around, that's going to work just fine. Because that Massey Ferguson one, whilst it was great having a 5 meter cultivator, if you can't go anywhere with it, it's just not worth using it. That is brilliant. It is very high on the ground, but this one doesn't take a front weight. So um, we can't really do anything about that. I've had a lot of requests to use Ursus and Bison machinery because those are Polish. Um, so we'll see what we can do about that. I'm sure there was an Ursus tractor available somewhere. I'm not quite sure. We will look into that. Right, that one is powering up through there. That is fantastic. Right, that's doing a brilliant job. We'll leave that one to carry on. Um, the... Deutz is finished. He's got a little tiny strip there, which I will do... Actually, I'll do that in a little while. Um, we've got that one other piece of this field left to do over there. Then I can um, sort of finish this field off. I'll finish this field off on my own, um, just to get it done out the way. And uh, cultivating can then get started. I'm aware that a lot of you are concerned that I'll be doing too much of the same thing. Um, so I'm going to try and make sure that I don't keep just doing the same thing. And I know that we've done um, cultivating and ploughing a bit so far. So I'm, uh, this is kind of going to be the last episode of ploughing at least. He's going round in a big circle here. He's, I'm hoping he's not going to get too close to that one there. No, nope, he's going to be all right. Is he going to go right past it? Excellent. Okay, that one's done just fine. And now he'll straighten up and he'll plough up through there. Um, so yes, we will start doing some sowing very soon, some planting, and I'm going to be playing around with the time scale and everything. We will fast forward time as and when we need to in order to make this series work. I want to keep moving with things. That's done there. So really, I just want to be doing a lot of tidying up with this tractor now. Um, let's turn this one over. I'll do that little section there afterwards if we can come running down this side of the field. We don't need to worry about putting in the, um, the food just yet. The cows don't need it just yet, but uh, they will want it soon. Incidentally, this plough was, uh, I think it came second in the public vote. I was quite surprised, actually. I was, I was genuinely surprised that a plough would win second place in a public vote. Um, so I, I like the plough. I think it's really good. It's the, the extra animations and stuff on it. It makes it a, a, a really good little plough. Um, I was just surprised that it actually won the public vote like that. Or well, it came second place. The, the mod that won the public vote, and I'm genuinely not surprised about that. I this there was this time round there was just no contest, especially after Black Sheep modding unfortunately had to withdraw from the competition. Um, they well they were actually disqualified, but still. Um, the yeah uh, seasons mod seasons mod won the public vote um, and. Black Sheep modding, they had to withdraw because someone on their team used stolen parts for one of the models in the Massey Ferguson pack, which must have been absolutely heartbreaking for the everybody involved. 
Um, that person was removed from the Latchik modding team. There's some works in progress models that they had up. Those have been removed as well. Um, so yeah, there was a it was big bad things happened and nobody was very pleased about that. This plow though, I think it's just this tractor. I think the tractor might be a fraction too small for the plow because if you have a look, it does seem to spend a lot of time. It's, it's above the ground. It's sitting on top of the ground rather than going into the ground, which is not really a good thing. Um, I'm guessing mostly it's because the horsepower of the tractor isn't quite enough to cope with the plough. But we've done up through there. I've got, a, I've got a lot of tidying work to do, and this is going to be really dull viewing, I think, to watch this. So I'm going to do this in my own time um, before next episode, which um, this is Tuesday, and next episode will be Thursday's episode because of my new schedule that I'm having to do. Um, and I'd like to apologise for those people. I mean, I've had suggestions. I've had people offering me save game files that they um, could modify to bring back Whatair Valley and Rattlesnake Valley, especially the time lapse. Um, there's a lot of people upset about that. Um, the reason that I don't want to go and rebuild one from scratch is because it's there's going to be no continuity to it whatsoever. Why have you gone over here i started you over that side so why have you missed a huge section it's done a little piece down the bottom and it's missed a piece okay that might be because of um what we had to start with unless it's like a a field boundary type issue um that'll be the new holland i think has just finished completed its task unless of course it's let's take a look no it's not down in field 86 that is the Deutz down there, right? We'll leave this one to go. We can go back and check on the Deutz. Now, several of you told me that you are quite happy for me to be doing this, jumping around between different machinery. Um, well, because essentially we're doing a big management type thing. Um, but yeah. Anyway, back to the the, the save game files that we lost um, due to my catastrophic hard drive failure. Um, go and have a look at my channel update video that I posted a couple of days ago if you don't know what I'm talking about But basically my hard drive went horribly wrong. Um, I also had a backup save game file um, That managed to get corrupted a couple of days beforehand that I then didn't back up again properly um, So it was like a sequence of events that you wouldn't have considered possible that actually happened And so I lost my save game files for Whatair Valley and for Rattlesnake Valley. They're gone um, and I've had people offering to rebuild those as close to the originals as possible. It would take quite a while to do that. I needed a course of action to follow immediately so that um, my videos can keep being produced. And also, I don't like the fact that there wouldn't be continuity with the time-lapse series especially. Um, I felt that it would kind of detract a little bit from the quality of the series because I am trying to like produce a narrative while I'm making those videos and I wasn't I did seriously consider doing something like that but I wasn't happy with how that could work out um, I felt that there was too many issues that could present themselves see there's a little gap in this field that it doesn't seem to like for some reason I don't know why we'll have to manually just polish this field off and then this one's ready for plant oh it's like a little... There was something there. It stopped it. I just seen it. Did you just see it? It kind of grabbed it for some reason. A little tiny something in the field. Um, oh, that's not anything that I think we need to worry about. So, yes, because of that, um, because I needed like an instant solution and I needed to... Um, I couldn't kind of wait and just leave you with no videos for a while. I felt that I really had to um, come up with a come up with an alternative plan something to keep everything moving um, and so that is why I decided to stop doing the Rattlesnake Valley series um, and I will start doing a new one I've got the final episode of Rattlesnake Valley going up on Wednesday um, that one I've edited it after the hard drive failure so I have been able to like conclude the story as we're going through it um, but obviously the, the footage was filmed beforehand um, and then the editing was done afterwards. Um, so you, you, I will be able to talk about the fact that we're leaving Rattlesnake Valley um, and I can put like a, a reason into our story for it. Um, and I think you might like it. 
Uh, well, I'm hoping that you like it. I, it's something that I actually came up with as my original plan as to why I would leave Rattles, uh, Rattlesnake Valley in the first place. Uh, it just means that I'm going to have to move it forward several months instead of waiting until my, uh, when I originally planned to do it. Um, then next week we are doing two episodes of Euro Truck Simulator time lapse. I'm doing this because a lot of people have asked me to do some Euro Truck time lapse and I feel that for a long term series it wouldn't work because it would just be too dull. Um, the, it's, it's too much of the same thing but I thought two episodes would be good. It would allow me to do a couple of long journeys across Europe um, sort of show a, a few different bits and pieces. Maybe we'll do a, a fairly standard load um, and do a expensive load or like a, a really big load or something like that. Um, and just just to have a go with it in time lapse and see what it's like. Um, so there'll only be two episodes of that. And then we will start Dowland Farm. The vote is definitely in favour of Dowland Farm. It is a fantastic map. And the modders have got hold of me, the creators of the map. They have provided me with an early access copy of the update that they are releasing for the map, which is Seasons Compatible. And as it's completely Seasons Compatible, it does mean that we can run our time lapse series on it, which is fantastic news. Um, now, how much of this can I do? Oh, there we go. That's all right. We own enough of the field. Right. I think that is cultivated enough. We will now move on. We, actually, I'm going to take this one over to one of the other fields so that we can start getting... Uh, we can get going with the cultivating on one of the other fields. Um, probably the one where the Deutz is working, actually. So this one can carry on working down there. And then um, the Ford can get the... Um, the cultivator that's back at the yard and it can start working there and if we buy more fields we'll buy fields that are already cultivated we won't worry about plowing those this time round um, we'll worry about plowing those next time round when we have a bigger fleet of tractors I think it might be the best way to do it anyway we'll get this one over to the field where the Deutz is working I'm almost at the field so like I said before um, I don't have the information about last week's vote to hand uh, because I forgot to get it before I started recording. Um, my bad. However, the um, weekly question for this week, which I did forget about and I have now remembered, um, I am doing cows at the moment and I have plans to do pigs on this map. I'm not sure if I'm going to do sheep. I may not do sheep at all on this map. But I am going to do pigs, and what I want to know is, do you think that I should start doing pigs this year, or do you think I should wait until next year before I start doing the pigs? Um, and I'm I'm saying this year and next year because, um, basically, if we take a look at here, um, I would get pigs uh, at the beginning of the autumn when we have some harvesting available so we can get some canola and we can get some wheat um i might actually plant a field of corn later in the year um or later in the spring when the field has warmed up enough we could plant a field of corn um and i need to know now we need to plan ahead and then we will get we'll buy the pigs around the time that we do the harvesting so do you want me to buy the pigs this year or do you want me to wait until next year we'll run through a complete season a complete year of seasons and then we can um, buy pigs next year um we won't buy a huge amount to start with obviously we, we need to we need to go steady with this um we cannot rush into things we cannot talk about how many we're going to get because i don't know how many we could get um, the loan that we have available is based on the amount of um, machinery that you've got with this mod. Um, machinery and so on, you have a percentage of the total value. Uh, but we do need to pay off our... Actually, we'll pay off our loan now. If we get rid of that right now, then uh, we don't need to worry about loan repayments, which is another good thing. So cows, we've got 100 cows. And we're going to... Obviously, we've got to concentrate on keeping these cows going. Um, but I'll probably... You know, I'll start off with something in the region of 30 to 50 pigs uh, i don't know how many it would be but do you want me to get them this year do you want me to get them um just at the end of summer this year in the game or do you want me to wait until next year before we start branching out to pigs is your vote is your game head in the comment section down below let us know which one you want and why and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner and i'm still getting reports that some people are struggling to actually cast votes um like I said before, there's a few suggestions that have come in. 
it might be that you've got annotations turned off some people have found that if they turn the annotations back on again um they can cast their votes i don't use annotations for anything else it's just the vote card that comes up so if you've got annotations turned off that might be one thing that is doing it um the other thing that might be doing it i've actually got the plow the wrong way round here i should have it the other way so it's folding outwards and not folding inwards um but i'm going to keep it like this anyway or just for this bit um the other thing that you could try is some people have said they've got an ad blocker program running and um they have found that temporarily disabling it it's not all ad blockers though is this um it's just one ad blocker that someone said that they've used other people have said that they run an ad blocker anyway and um they can still cast votes so um yeah it's just a couple of things to try if you can't cast your votes uh it might be the browser um i don't know how the other browsers work um whether firefox or um chrome will do it i always use microsoft edge um i know that a lot of people don't tend to like the microsoft browsers uh however personally i do i always get on quite well with them um and i've not found especially edge the new one the one that comes with microsoft 10 um the windows 10 i've found that one actually to be pretty good i've, I've got no complaints with that one whatsoever so um i will continue to use that one so i'm not sure how chrome or firefox or any of the other browsers will affect your ability to cast your votes um but obviously you can um you can talk about the vote i do with the votes i do actually go on what the vote says um people say that they you know they're adding a vote in the comment section that's fine unfortunately because how i do it now it's very difficult to keep track of anything like that so you have your vote to cast in you can cast your vote um, and if you're not unable to vote then what you can do is you can go into the comment section you can say which one you'd like to vote for see if you can persuade other people to vote for that same one and um, that might be your best course of action because i can't really go tallying up all the comments um i now get hundreds of comments every single day and i literally don't have enough hours in the day to sort of keep on top of those sorts of things um if i just run up here i'd like to get that zeta started before we do anything else um actually let's just flick over to the zeta a second we just come up to there and he can stop a second we'll carry on with the plowing in a minute Oop, there we go and this one can go over to that edge i've got a little bit that, oh actually i've got a bit that needs to be plowed there um i can't oh yes i can i can start this one by going the crossways on the field up here um it's going to be a bit of a nuisance against that grass bank but i'm hoping that the zeta can cope with it if i come over here and lower it down here and just do one pass up through this side of the field then we'll um just start it working along the top end and that way i can work the plow and everything by next episode i will have finished doing this we may buy a few more fields um when we come to doing our planting but for now i'm not planning to buy more fields uh, well not that it's not that i'm not planning i'm not going to buy any today um i may decide to do it next time and it also depends how the vote goes for the pigs uh actually no it's not going to make any impact on that whatsoever we'll just spread our crops out a little bit more that one can carry on there um there's one other thing that i want to do before we go start this tractor up i've got the plowing to finish in this field so i'm just going to leave the plow right here actually unplug you unplug unhitch unhitch would be a better turn of phrase and if we come along here we will go and get the um the mix feeder we will get that one hitched in and we will feed the cows just before we leave um so yes big changes have happened to this channel and um big changes may yet happen in the future anyway in the next uh, three to four months but for now we are doing other games three days a week and garala three days a week and time lapse two days a week so you're still going to have farming simulator five separate days of the week um and i hope that pleases everybody who is utterly obsessed with farming simulator and i love farming simulator i really do but i need to play some other stuff as well um because otherwise i am just going to go insane um i cannot just do the same thing all the time and not only that i'm also i never ever intended this channel to be about a single game 
right? This, I always intended this to be a gaming channel, not a farming simulator channel. It's become a farming simulator based channel and farming simulator will always have a place here in um, on this channel um, because it's such a grand game. I really do enjoy playing this game. I love this game. I love everything about it. The detail, the attention to detail and everything that this game has to offer is just fantastic. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and I genuinely love it. I really do love playing this game. But I don't want to just play this game and nothing else. Which is why I've started to play some other stuff. Um, so for now, you'll have three days a week of other games. Three days a week of Let's Plays of this. Plus your two days a week of um, Farming Simulator time lapse. So you're going to have plenty of Farming Simulator. Um, if you are interested in other games, then please check them out. Uh, they're going to be featured regularly now. Uh, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays I will be doing other games. This week, so far, we've got Spin Tires. Well, we had Spin Tires yesterday. Um, and... The Escapists is tomorrow being released alongside um, the final episode of um, final episode of Rattlesnake Valley. Um, I was because people who watch The Escapists would like me to escape from prison. Unfortunately, I was still not able to actually escape from prison. Um, it's taking longer than I thought. So uh, there's going to be at least one more episode of The Escapists, um, however many it takes to get out of prison, and then I don't know if we'll do any more. Because um, the game's fun, but it's it's not something that's really kind of... It's not really made an impact to me. It's um, it's just kind of a fun uh, one-off, I think, mainly. Um, so, yeah, I will probably not be going back to that one for very much longer. We just need to get out of prison. We can't, we can't leave it with me still in prison. It's the escapists. So if we haven't escaped, we haven't really lived up to the game's hype. Um, if there are games that you want to see me playing, I'm probably going to be doing Forza Horizons again on Friday. Um, and I've been putting in some practice on that one, so I hope you like that. Uh, if there are games that you would like to see me playing, um, I will have a go. And in particular, um, games that aren't simulator games. I'd like to play some more stuff that isn't simulator type games. I've got um, all sorts of games in my um, game library. I've got... Um, like uh, Skyrim and Fallout and all sorts of games like that. So I don't know if those sorts of games are uh, what appeal to you. Um, you'll have to let me know. Let me know in the comments section what you'd like to see. I'd be quite interested to see. Actually, I'm, I'm really looking forward to sort of seeing people's views on this um, and what you like and what you don't like. Um, it's always interesting to see what people like. Um, but anyway, I have rattled on for way too long. Um, the question for this week, uh, that I've only just asked, I will ask it again, is do you want me to start getting pigs this year with the Seasons mod? Um, do you want me to, when we reach summer, do you want me to start buying a few pigs? Or do you want me to wait until next year? Do you want me to get established farming this year and then we'll start getting pigs next year? I will probably start off with 30 or 40 pigs um, and then we can sort of take it from there. I'm probably not going to do sheep on this map. We've done sheep a bit now. We've done sheep in um, Rattlesnake Valley. We did a lot of sheep there. We had a thousand sheep there. Um, I've also done sheep in Watair Valley. So I think we can take a break from sheep. We haven't done pigs for ages. So we're going to do pigs. And we'll also end up doing pigs in Dowland Farm as well. Um, so sheep are going to take a break. I will most likely do sheep in Dowland Farm. I'll probably do all three types of animals. Um but it won't be to start with that that game you actually start off with cows um, much like we have with this one so um, there's going to be some similarities between the two to start off with um, but not for very much longer uh, so yeah it's your vote it's your game head in the comment section down below let us know which one you want and why and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner that is all I have got time for now so um, yeah well, I've actually gone way way over time I'm sure of it um, so, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.